This is gonna blow your mind. Did you know that radioactive materials are like ticking clocks? Let's dive into how they work. All right, so what's nuclear decay? Think of unstable elements like uranium or carbon-14 as being a bit like overly energetic teenagers. They have too much energy and need to release it to chill out. This process of losing energy, often by emitting radiation, is called nuclear decay. Now, nuclear decay isn't a one-size-fits-all thing. It happens through different types of decay, alpha, beta, and gamma. Each involves different particles and changes to the nucleus. But here's the kicker. This decay doesn't happen all at once. Enter the concept of half-life. Imagine you've got a big bag of popcorn. After one movie, half of it's gone. That's kind of like half-life. It's the time it takes for half of the radioactive atoms in a sample to decay. Cool, right? For example, carbon-14 has a half-life of about 5,730 years. This property allows scientists to play detective with ancient objects. When living things die, they stop absorbing carbon-14, which then starts to decay. By measuring how much carbon-14 remains, scientists can estimate how long it's been since the organism kicked the bucket. This method, called carbon dating, is super useful in archaeology, geology, and paleontology. So there you have it. Nuclear decay and half-life help us unlock the secrets of the past and understand how our universe evolves. It's like having a time machine but way cooler. And remember, the more we learn about these processes, the more we can harness their power for good. From medical treatments to energy production, the applications are endless. So keep exploring, keep questioning, and who knows what amazing discoveries await us next.